subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for future videos. The Apostle Paul exhorted the Christians in Corinth to flee from sexual immorality, saying, Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. Indeed, God the Father created our body, God the Son redeemed them, and God the Holy Spirit indwells them. This makes our body the very temple of the Holy Spirit of God. Those who do not belong to Christ do not have the Spirit of Christ residing in them. Thus, their bodies are not a temple of the Holy Spirit. Clearly, then, the greatest thing we can do for our bodies is to make them into a temple for God's Spirit. And we do this by placing our trust and faith in Jesus Christ as our Saviour. The moment we do this, the indwelling of God's Spirit takes place. Our salvation is then sealed and guaranteed. The Holy Spirit will be then with us forever, given by God as his pledge of the believer's future inheritance in glory. As the Holy Spirit resides in us, therefore, we are to honor God with our bodies as they are not our own. As Paul said, we have indeed been bored with a price, and it was not gold or silver or other perishable things by which we were redeemed. It was with the precious and blemished blood of Jesus Christ. Ordained by God before the foundation of the world, Christ's blood purchased us out of the slavery of sin and set us free forever. And as Christians' bodies are God's temple, we are to use them to glorify God. The temple was a very special place in the Old Testament. God gave precious instructions about how it was to be constructed and furnished. It was the primary place where God revealed himself and talked to the priest. It was also the place where the priest and the people made various types of offerings to God. In short, the temple was a holy place, a place where God's spirit dwelt and interacted with the Israelites. When the Bible says you are a temple of the Holy Spirit, it is saying that God's Spirit lives in you, but it is saying much more than that. God is saying that you are a holy place, that means you need to take good care of yourself, spiritually, physically and mentally. When you think about it, it's an amazing thing that God doesn't just exist outside of you in heaven or in church. His Spirit actually is living in you. Think about that. Right now, this moment, as you read this, God is in you. We also read in the Old Testament that God has very strict rules about how His temple was to be treated. Likewise, today we need to respect God's temple, to take good care of it. When we think about being a temple of God, it can motivate us to be careful about where we go, what we eat, what we watch, and what we listen to. It can motivate us to keep His temple pure. If God meant simply to convey the idea that the Spirit lives within the believer, He could well have used words such as home, house, or residence. But by choosing the word temple to describe the Spirit's dwelling, he conveys the idea that our bodies are the shrine, or the sacred place, in which the Spirit not only lives, but is worshipped, revered, and honored. Therefore, how we behave, think, and speak, and what we let into the temple through our eyes and ears, becomes critically important as well. For every thought, word, and deed is in his view. Even though he will never leave us, it is entirely possible to grieve the Holy Spirit. Instructing the Ephesians to not grieve the Spirit, Paul told them to get rid of all bitterness, rage, and anger, brawling, and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. 
when we live by the Spirit, we will no longer gratify the desires of the sinful nature. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy. Which temple ye are? Please rate the video, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for future videos. The video is free to use on your channel without giving me any credit. God bless you all.